At Bukit Batok Central, there is a neighbourhood park beside Street 21. It is centred on a small hill constructed in 1983 as part of the new neighbourhood 7. I live just beside the park for the past 35 years and so it's my neighbourhood park that I've grown to love over the years. Here, I used to practice for my reservist IPPT, took long evening walks and did a lot of bird photography from the hilltop. I mentioned that the hill was constructed in 1983 as it was not totally natural at the beginning but was shaped and contoured to blend into the existing hills that were already here during the building of Bukit Batok New Town. In the early days of Bukit Batok New Town, this hill was very prominent because of its conical shape. Thus, it was given the moniker Fuji Hill. This was how it looked when it was young. In those early days, by just saying you live near Fuji Hill, residents then would understand where you were referring to. Today, the park has matured after 35 years and is covered by trees that grew tall over time. You can no longer see its conical volcano shape any longer. So people will actually think you're a bit crazy when you say that the park is called Fuji Hill. In 2019, the town council decided that after 35 years, the park should undergo a revamp. A renewal plan was proposed and the park was slated for reopening in early 2020. However, renewal works were put on hold due to the COVID-19 pandemic and only recently resumed and completed in April 2021. I happened to be around when Mr. Murali Pillay, the MP for Bukit Batu, relaunched the newly renovated park. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to everybody. It's a happy day because we are finally opening up our Fuji Hill. As you know, our Fuji Hill has been closed for several months. It's full stop, and uh, today we are opening it, and you will soon see many features such as boardwalks, playgrounds, and all this will make possible because of feedback from our residents. In fact, I would say that 
our environment task force made of Bukit Batok residents provided very essential inputs. Some of the inputs was in relation to preserving the natural landscape of uh, our park. And we have done that and you'll soon see it. With that, I want to end my speech. I would like to convey my thanks to everybody once again for making this possible. And I want to congratulate our Bukit Batok residents because with your patience and your support, we have delivered this project to you. I do hope that Akong Ama, the parents, the grandchildren, all enjoy this beautiful surrounding. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah. 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 Adventurer is seems to be a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because wow. this one is uh, about two stories. Like, yeah, yeah, story. yeah. So fun for them. Huh? <laughs> About 30 years plus ago, when Bukit Bato was built, there were no wingways, there were no drop-off points. Bit by bit, we managed to build. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our town council for really undertaking these projects to improve the quality of our lives of our Bukit Bato residents. So with that, and with your permission, I'm going to unveil the plug, okay? Oh! <laughs>